Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, it's been a while, I haven't uploaded for a while, but today, this is what I've been working on lads. FIFA 21 icons, potential icons, my wish list, who I'd like to see on the game. So if you do enjoy the video lads, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and more FIFA content in general. And also comment down below who you'd like to see on FIFA 21 as an icon, who is in your wish list, and would you like any of these players to be on FIFA in FIFA 21? So let me know, guys, in the comments section below. But I put together 10 icons who I think would be absolutely insane to be icons, basically, and who have had really, really good careers. One or two that could be a bit skeptical, a bit pushing the boat out, but. You know, I wanted to try different than everyone else's potential FIFA icons. So, this is what I've gone with. To start off, we have got the man, the myth, the legend, Xavi. One of the best centre mids the world has ever seen, in my opinion. Absolutely brilliant. He could spray passes left, right and centre. And if he gets cards like this, the damn insane. Who do you think was better? Do you think Iniesta was better than Xavi? Who knows? Comment down below. But... I think Xavi would be an absolutely brilliant card for FIFA and he could have potential cards just like this one. I reckon 94 would be his prime rating to be honest just because you know he is one of the higher better sense of the world as I mean and if you think Cruyff this is 94 then maybe I'm pushing it out a bit too much but I definitely think 94 rated is for Xavi and his base is only an 88 with 72 pace I know these stats are a bit skeptical I'm just going off what I think lads so if you don't agree that is perfectly fine I'm just thinking what could these cards be what could they be like in FIFA 21 so next card we got Van Persie Robin Van Persie he was brilliant lads even though he did play for Man United <sighs> I know I am a Liverpool fan but yeah, lads, he, 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 he was incredible, wasn't he? Let's face it, he was incredible for Arsenal, he was incredible for United, and he could have some absolutely mental, mental cards. Could play centre-forward striker. The cam, lads, this card. But, yeah, he, he's got the potential to be a FIFA 21 icon, no doubt about it. He was an absolute machine, goal-scoring machine in his time at Arsenal and United. And these cards look absolutely insane and I'd absolutely love to try him, to review him. But who knows, he might not get one, he might get one. This is just potential icons, my wish list. And Van Persie would definitely be one for my wish list, definite. Absolutely definite, no doubt about it. So the next one, we have got Philip Lam, the Bayern captain, fantastic himself. He was absolutely sensational in his time at Bayern Munich, as you see him there lifting the UCL trophy. So, he has, he's one of the best right backs to ever lived, in my opinion, no doubt about it. Him and probably Mikon as well, I forgot about Mikon, could have done him, but Lam, he's lifted pretty much every trophy you can bloody lift this man, and he took his team to many finals. So, his 92 rated card, I don't think that is a bad rating at all. And I definitely think that is a rating for him. He could even be high, lads. I might be pushing it out a bit there. But if you think Zanetti's a 92, I think his prime. And his moments is 94. So possibly this could be even higher than this. I have no idea. But I think that would be an absolute wonderful card for FIFA. Absolutely brilliant right back one of the best ever so that would be a sick card to have on fifa now we have got the italian stallion we have got francesco totti now he was absolutely brilliant i did love this man i used to watch him back in the day he was sensational he's not the fastest player and that's why his prime i've put 92 rated he's only got 85 pace he wasn't the fastest player at all but he could ping a shot off from anywhere on the pitch and he also was really good at passing so what do you think, lads? What do you think about my ratings? Let me know in the comments. If you don't agree, that is fine. Please comment. Let me know any changes you'd make to these cards as well, lads. I think Francesco Totti would be absolutely sensational for FIFA. Imagine him at centre, centre attacking mid. He would be brilliant in a 4 2 3 1. Pinging past his left, right, and centre. Pinging long shots left, right, and centre. He'd be absolutely amazing. But the next one for me. I hope to God he gets the, this card. Fernando 
Torres, El Nino himself, the man, the myth, the legend. One of my favourite, if not my favourite strikers ever played for Liverpool just because of the era I was in to watch this man play. Oh my god. I had his documentary. I had his documentary. His documentary. I'm on about his bibliography or autobiography, whatever you want to call it. He was my favourite player of the time and I am being a bit harsh. A bit over the top on his um, prime there, I think, because prime Butchiguenio moments as then similar stats so I am pushing the ball out there if he got this card that would be sensational and I'd definitely definitely go ahead and buy it because he's one of my favourite players to ever grace the football pitch for me he was just absolutely brilliant for Liverpool in his time and then he got sniped up by Chelsea didn't he for a massive 50 million pounds so if they got this card that would be absolutely sensational now we get on to another one Another Liverpool icon, but a Real Madrid icon as well, and he also played for Bayern Munich, and that is Xabi Alonso. He was a complete midfielder. He could smash the ball 100 yards down the pitch. He could smash the ball from 40 yards into the back of the net. He could score penalties. He could defend. He could do absolutely everything on the pitch. Apart from his pace, his pace isn't the fastest centre mid, lads, and that's why I've only given 76 on his prime, but... Everything else is absolutely sensational. Imagine this card, lads. Imagine this card. He will be unbelievable as a CDM. Absolutely brilliant, man. He he just he was so good in his day, lads, wasn't he? Honestly, watch this man. He could spray balls across the pitch like no other player on the game. On the game. I'm on about FIFA. I'm on about real life here. He could absolutely do amazing things. And obviously, he scored in the Champions League final for Liverpool, so he, he has a place in my heart. Next up, we've got JT, John Bloody Terry, number 26, the man himself. Now, he is slow, that's why I've given 76 pace as his maximum, but no doubt about it, lads, he was one of the best defenders of his time, wasn't he? And you Chelsea fans would absolutely love this card. And I think he deserves it as well, lads. He is a manager now, so he's not going to go back to football, so this will be a sensational card lads it really was it'd be an absolute tank a monster body be sluggish and that's the only reason i've given him 76 pace on his um prime card the others 74 72 i think it could even be lower on his base card if he actually got one but who knows lads who knows but would you like to see john terry on fifa i definitely would you know i am a Liverpool fan but You've got to take into account these sensational players from other teams, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I would love a John Terry card. He, it would be fantastic. And another one that I do because I'm a Liverpool fan, but Nemanja Vidic, he was absolutely brilliant, lads, wasn't he? Let's face it. He was one of the best defenders the world has ever seen, and that's hard to say, but he was, lads. He really was, and he deserves a monstrous centre-back card like this. Oh my god, he was just brilliant. He played for Man United, didn't he? He played for, was it Inter Milan as well? I can't even remember, lads. But this card would be sensational. And he deserves it, lads. He definitely deserves an icon. Plus, we haven't got any Serbian icons, have we? I don't think. So, for you Serbian people out there, that would be a brilliant addition to FIFA 21. And I hope he gets one, lads, because he could be an absolute monster. And... He could have some brilliant, brilliant cards. I might have gone a bit high on the rating there, 91, but I do think he was a 91 in his prime. He was an absolute brilliant centre-back, wasn't he, lads? And this one, it is pushing the boat out a bit, lads. I mean, he was good, but is he icon level? I don't know. You let me know in the comments. Robinho, he was skillful. Wasn't he one of the uh, highest transfers in that year when he went to Man City? I have no idea. I think he was. But I'm not 100% sure. But he played for AC Milan. He played for Man City. And I don't know who else he played for. I can't even remember off the top of my head. But he had some sensational cards over FIFA. And he was a fun player to watch with his skill moves. He's fast on that left wing, cutting in. He was absolutely brilliant in his time. But I don't know if he's icon level, lads. I don't. I've just put him in there as a potential one. Because you never know. You never know. Some icons that you look at on FIFA and you think how the hell on cards well this could be one of them it could be he was good but is he icon level I don't know and the final one another skeptical one Nicholas Anelka 
Now, on FIFA 10, I had his card. That was the first ultimate team I played, and I had his card, and he was absolutely brilliant, lads. No doubt about it. He was absolutely brilliant on the game. He had some good cards. He's played for West Brom, Chelsea, Bolton, where he started. He was a pretty damn decent striker, lads, no doubt about it. And could he be the next striker French icon? Who knows? He did play really well in his time at Chelsea. So, I do think he deserves one. Blake, it might be a bit high, that 89 rated card. But, I think he does deserve an icon card, lads. I really, really do. And, he, would, he wouldn't be the highest rated icon, but... It's another addition to the Icon family. It is a striker from France, so it could be a decent one to have as an Icon in FIFA 21. So, lads, if you have enjoyed the video today, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button, add to the channel for more content like this, more FIFA content. And I hope you have enjoyed it today. It's something a bit different. I don't normally do this sort of stuff, so if you do enjoy it, leave a comment. Leave a comment on who you would like to see an icon and maybe I can carry this series on and do another video of another 10 icons or something like that who knows if you guys like it I will do it that's that's all I'm doing it for the content is for you guys at the end of the day and your support is absolutely brilliant I'll thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day lads